Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple couscous salad. You're not going to be doing any proper cooking, but what you are going to be using is boiling hot water from the kettle to soften the couscous grains. All right, so that's why I've moved over to this part of my kitchen so that I can avoid carrying around boiling hot water and potentially having an accident. So we're going to be working near to the kettle. All right, so what you're going to need is 100 grams of couscous and I've put it in a heat proof bowl because I'm going to be pouring boiling hot water directly onto the couscous and then to my couscous I'm going to be adding a stock cube so either a vegetable or a chicken stock cube would be fine just to flavour it and then I'm going to be adding salad type fruits and vegetables to it alright so half, about half a red pepper half a tin of sweet corn I say salad type fruits because actually technically tomatoes are a fruit um, so I'm going to have a handful of baby plum tomatoes, quarter of a cucumber, and then half a red onion. You could, if you don't like the taste of really strong onion, um, you could have spring onion, or go for a red onion because it's slightly sweeter than a white onion. And then the equipment, as well as your heat proof bowl, you're also going to want a jug to measure out your water, a chopping board, and again, I'm using my green chopping board because I'm dealing with salad type vegetables. Um, a sharp knife, and then I might add some herbs to my salad. So I'm gonna be using pear scissors and just snipping off um, a few sprigs of my fresh parsley. All right, okay, let's get started. I'm gonna start by filling up my jug first, and I want to measure 175 milliliters of cold water from my cold water tap. So I do just about what I think it should be, but I'm going to double check my measuring by putting it on a flat surface and just making sure that I've measured that accurately. All right, so I'm measuring the water into my jug cold first, and I'm going to pour this into my kettle. Doing your water this way means you're not wasting energy by boiling more water than you really need and also it's quicker. So just going to wait for that kettle to boil. While it's going, I'm going to crumble up my stock cube. Okay, my kettle's boiled now, so I'm going to pour that back into my jug and just dissolve my stock cube. myself a teaspoon just to help dissolve that stock cube a bit quicker. Okay, I'm going to pour that directly onto my couscous. Let's give that a bit of a stir just to make sure that all of the grains are completely covered in that flavoured hot water in my stock. Okay, and while I'm waiting for my couscous to absorb all that water, and they're going to start preparing my vegetables. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my pepper. I've cut it in half already, so I can see the seeds inside the parts that I don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut either side of my seeds. Okay, you can see that. Just being careful of my fingers. And then using the claw grip, I'm just going to cut it into chunky slices. So when I say chunky slices, probably about a centimetre thick. So all the time watching my fingers. Okay, I'm going to gather up a handful or a com you know a comfortable amount. I'm going to use the claw grip again. So at a 90 degree angle, I'm going to cut my strips into small chunks. And you can be quite rough with it. You don't have to be exact. Okay, then I'm going to keep my chopping board clear. That's going to go directly on top of my couscous. Next, I'm going to 
gonna take my baby plum tomatoes. Okay, and I want those quite chunky as well, so I'm going to use my bridge hold. So hold either end of my tomato, and I'm gonna cut down the middle. I'm gonna put those straight in. So I'm just cutting them in half. Apart from my sweet corn, I'm gonna keep most of my vegetables pretty much the same size. And then my cucumber. So again, I'm going to make this a little bit easier for myself. So I'm going to use the claw grip and I'm going to cut my, my length of cucumber in half. And then with the bridge hold, I'm going to cut straight down the middle. Okay, so I've got four pieces. And then always using the bridge hold again, I'm going to cut those into quarters. So it's quite a chunky salad. Like so. Pull my sweet corn in as well. Okay, you'll notice I've left my onion till last because I've got to take off the papery skin. I don't want to accidentally transfer anything from my onion onto the knife and then onto the other vegetables. So I'm going to do this one last. All right, so you've got your, your top and your roots. So I'm going to cut the top off first using my claw grip. I'm just going to discard that to one of my empty bowls. Take off the papery skin. So what you should be left with is the nice shiny onion. All right, and then I'm going to dice it but my pieces of diced onion are going to be quite chunky again okay so if you watched um, any of my other videos and you've seen me dicing an onion in a previous video you'll know what I'm going to be doing but if you haven't I'll just explain so I'm not going to be cutting all the way across my onion okay I'm going to stop my onion I'm going to stop my knife sorry about a centimetre from the root of my onion okay so I'm using the, the bridge hold again Putting the knife in the middle, I'm just going to cut down here. So I've not cut all the way across, remember, just to there. Then I'm going to do some chunky slices, again, about a centimetre apart, not all the way to the end. Okay, so I've cut into my onion, but it's not come apart yet, it's all held together at the root. I'm going to turn it a quarter turn, and then with the claw grip, I'm then going to cut in the other direction, about a centimetre apart. So this is the root, you're not going to need anyway. So I've got nice chunky pieces of diced onion. All right, so if I just move my chopping board. Okay. So, that's everything prepped now, everything done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to just give it a bit of a mix. Yeah, so a four quarter spoon is fine. Okay, hopefully you can see if I hold that up, one of the different colours in my salad. So it's really important, they say eat a rainbow, okay, because different fruits and vegetables of different colours contain different vitamins and minerals, alright, so if you're getting a range of colours in your diet, you're getting a range of nutrients as well, okay, so to this, I am going to add some herbs. So I've got my fresh parsley, that's what I'm going to use my scissors for. So I'm just going to cut off a few sprigs through the bigger ones. You know, people don't necessarily like lots and lots of herbs, so it's up to you. If you're doing this from scratch, you can decide how much you're going to put in. Alright, then gather up nice bunch of your parsley. Okay, then with your scissors, you're gonna just snip directly into your bowl. So again, lots of little, little cuts. So you get lots of small pieces of your herb, which you can spread more easily throughout your dish. getting it a haircut. Just watch your fingers when you get to the end. Okay, and give that another stick. 
stir through. So really get to the bottom of the bowl. Get that good old mix. Okay, so here it is, the finished article. Your couscous salad. Again, look at all the different colours. So remember, eating a rainbow, lots of different vitamins and minerals in this. Um, this is perfect as it is. If you want to, if you feel like it's a bit dry, maybe you want to add some olive oil or a low-fat salad dressing, that's fine. Um, I'm not going to season this, but again, if you want to taste it and then season it, then that's completely up to you. The stock cube will have some seasoning in it, some salt and pepper, so that will add some flavour to it. But it's completely personal preference. And then that amount that I've just shown you, depending on how greedy you are, I'm very greedy, so just one portion for me, but you could easily divide it up into two portions and have two days worth of lunches if you want to. Um, you can prepare this at the time of eating, you can prepare this on the day just before you want to eat it at lunch or for like a light meal at dinner time, but equally this will keep for about a day. So if you wanted to make this in advance and put it in the fridge, then it'll be absolutely perfect the next day.